Hey guys, it's RLC321, back again with another, or not another, a continuation of the Hulk PVC model. And as you can see, I've, oh, sorry, earthquake, I knocked the camera for a mistake. That's because it's right in the way. But, never mind. Anyway, model kit. Um, I already said we don't need to use these clips. Just because, I mean, the, these clips are not that strong to hold it together. Um, and as you can see, it's extremely movable, which is not very good for us at all. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use uh, blue tack or pink tack in this case, to put it all together with... And I just broke my glove. Would you believe that? Just broke my glove. That's just typical, that is, isn't it? And what I'm going to do with this this blue tag is cover my um, what do calls it thingy here, and just put hold that into place with my blue tag, and then hopefully that should push that in a bit more. That will help keep everything in place for me so that I can easily paint it now this is not going to be less of, even less of a problem um, can't as you can see there's no way you can get a grip on it where it's going to be good to to hold it in place so again I'm going to be using my blue tech friend but this time what I'm going to use is where are you? One of these. I'll just put blue tack around there, and then in the middle here somewhere, I'm just gonna push it into place like so. So it'll hold everything all ready for me to start painting it which doesn't really want to stay in place for me at all okay I'm gonna have to rethink that one unless I can get it into there that might be ah, that's a better option there we go that's better uh, yeah yeah that'll work works for me anyway so right, only one bit of blue tech so anyway Priming. What I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using, no, I'm not going to be using grey primer. Where's my black primer gone? Um, okay. My black primer has disappeared from my, my workbench. Every other colour's here. I had everything all out, unless the cats have knocked it over again, which that really wouldn't surprise me. Oh, look, there's, yeah, here they go. Yeah, there, there's, uh, Yes, the cats have knocked it over. Oh, God, saying that's just typical, that is, anyway. Right. There. Now, I'm using gloss black, but it doesn't really matter what colour black you use. I'm just using gloss black because that's the only black I've got. But, even though it's going to be black, I don't want it completely black. Um, I don't want it completely dark. So... I'm going to mix a little bit of black and grey so because I don't want it dark dark either so give these bottles a really good shake because they've actually been sitting for a while because I haven't done any painting for a little while so I need to give these a really good shake and the same with the gloss black really good shake now then. Alright, so I'm just using a three millimeter needle and my compressor is all the way up to like forty yard. So some black in there and then get some of the grey into my airbrush as well. There we go. 
And let's get my stir. Give it a good stir around. Because I want it dark, I just don't want it black. Black, black. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a blowback. Just to make sure things are all nicely mixed. Now, now, my confessor is going to be coming on, and so is my. Um, oh, I've got black paint everywhere. That's just typical of me. Oh, there you go. That's why you wear gloves. And my. Um, what's it called? There, paint's coming out nicely now. Uh, this extracts it, so it's going to be a bit noisy, but hopefully you can still hear me. And we're going to start with the leg. And hopefully everything will be in shot. And all we're going to do is just to light dust in first of all. Always do a light dust in when you do any kind of painting. Oh, balls, typical. Oh, there we go. That's better. There, it's coming out now. Don't forget the underside. And basically, you want to cover every part of this model kit. So you're going to have to come at it from all different angles. Oh, I think I need to clean my airbrush. So you want to cover every single part so there's no green showing whatsoever. Except my airbrush is stopping working. Ah, damn it! Right, hang on one sec. I'm just gonna thin it down just a little. See if that's gonna help it through. Okay, I think that's worked. Alright, let's continue. Oh yeah, that's better. Getting really good coverage now. <laughs> I don't know how much of this I'm keeping in shot. Yeah, my airbrush is not making very good noises, is it? So I think what I'm going to do after I do this video is give it a really good clean and see what we can do to fixing it.
There, right. Okay, so. That's that. All primed. Um, before I continue on with the rest of this video, I'm going to have to clean my airbus before I can paint anything else. So I will get back to you with another video with a continuation as soon as I've sorted this stupid thing out. Anyway, this is RLC321. I'll be back soon to continue this video. See you, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Yeah, okay. I'm back after a quick clean on my airbrush, which should be working fine now. I think we'll start again. So, I've already done one leg, so I'm just going to fill up some of this, some of this black and some of this grey. As I say, it's not an exact science, exact measurements here that I'm doing. I'm just doing it to what I think looks right. And my little stirring stick. Because I want it dark, but I don't want it black, black. And... There is reasons for that. Okay. And I'll tell you the reasons for that. Right, let's switch on my double flip. The reason I want it dark is Hulk's skin tone is actually quite dark in and of itself. Owl balls, typical. So right, let's thin it down a bit. Too thick for it to go through. No problem. Oh, I've got paint everywhere because I was touching. Ow! Bollocks. Hopefully that should work. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, the Hulk's skin tone isn't as bright green as this and I don't want it as bright green as this so I'm gonna be doing going with a fairly dark dark hulk here I don't think this is coming out as good as it should even though I've cleaned the damn thing let's see if a bit more thinner in there will Help it out a bit. At least I hope so. Come on. Yes, a little bit better. I don't even know if any of this was in shot. Yeah, it is. Ow, oh, shit balls. And I've just spilt paint. Oh, I'm not having a very good day today. Really not having a good day. That's what I'll get for not painted in a while, I suppose. <laughs> no, it's not. Cover the 
the model with as much There is definitely something wrong with my paintbrush. Oh, I think it's time to invest in another new one. No, no, that's stupid. Yep, there's a needle on the front there, Rob. I'm going to do what I'm going to do now. I need to make sure I close the lid. I should do that. And I'm getting... Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. Oh, that's better. Finally got it to come out. Well, that's a bit of it done. Um, oh, oh, no, now that, that the body's not standing up on the, the stick, as typical. Oh, well. Right, let's see if we can't do the body as well, or the legs. Well, I'm going to continue climbing this bad boy and the next video will be applying the first layer of colour um, and I'll talk about I've decided to do something different with the, the body and the head I'm hoping it's going to work but I'll talk about that in the next video but for now I'm just going to continue with climbing this and gonna have to think about getting a new airbrush, a new climbing airbrush anyway. It's only a cheap and nasty airbrush, so it came with the compressor, so it's not great. And but I use it just for climbing, so it doesn't have to be great just for climbing. So, gonna continue on, and I will see you guys in the next video. That is, if I can get this airbrush to work properly. I really don't know what's going on with it. And now it's decided to spit at me as well. Yay! Lovely! But that's it anyway, it's pretty much done. 
we're going to have to go over this a, a couple more times, I think, because it's not got it fully done. But here you go. That's priming of the Hulk model anyway. And this is RLC321 saying goodbye, and I will see you soon. Take care now, guys. Have a good one. Be safe. Bye-bye.